As you enter your prime earning years, it's important to be mindful of common pitfalls that can jeopardize your whole financial future and risk ruining all your years of hard work. In this video, we will be going through six money traps that you should avoid in your 30s and in your 40s. Welcome to Financial Freedom Kenya, your home for dependable personal financial advice and guidance for anyone who is determined to become financially independent. If you are new here, my name is Manyara Kirago. I'm a personal finance professional with over 20 years of experience helping individuals safeguard their financial futures and their financial progress. And I'm on a mission to bring honest financial education to the minds of hardworking Kenyan professionals. If you are looking to grow your income and fast track your way to financial independence, please like the video, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to be alerted each time I post a new video. But if you need more help with ensuring that you get the best outcome with your finances, I have a step-by-step do-it-yourself online course, or you can engage with me for more personalized one-on-one -on -one financial freedom coaching by clicking the links in the description below. Now be sure to watch this video until the very end so that you don't miss out on the most crucial tip that would completely transform your finances and help you avoid these pitfalls. Okay, let's get into it. Money trap number one is financial illiteracy. Financial illiteracy refers to a lack of understanding or knowledge about financial matters. This can lead to poor money management and financial decisions, which results in serious adverse consequences for someone in their 30s and in their 40s. You see, many of us grew up without a solid foundation in financial literacy, and it can be easy to make costly mistakes without even realizing it. One common example of financial literacy is not having a clear understanding of how credit works, which leads us to accruing large amounts of debt and ultimately damaging one's reputation and credit score. A low credit score will make it difficult for you to get a loan for a house or a car, and if you do get a loan, you'll be penalized with a high interest rate. If you would like me to cover this in a video on how to use credit in Kenya, please let me know in the comments below. Another example of financial illiteracy is not having a clear understanding of investments and savings options. Without this knowledge, a person is more likely to make poor investment decisions, such as choosing high-risk investments without fully understanding the potential consequences and therefore increasing the possibility for significant financial losses. In general, financial illiteracy will lead to poor money management and decision making, which will have long-term negative effects on your financial well-being. To avoid this trap, take the time to educate yourself on basic financial concepts like budgeting, saving, investing, as this will help you make informed decisions about your money and set you up for long-term success. It is also important to seek professional advice in order to avoid falling into this trap in your 30s and your 40s. But please do not mistake sales pitches for financial advice. Next, we have lack of a financial plan. Lacking a financial plan is a major money trap for many people in their 30s and 40s as people in this age range are usually at, an, at a critical stage in their life where they could be planning to start a family, buy a home, or plan for retirement. Having a clear financial plan will help ensure that you stay on track to achieving your financial goals by giving you a practical roadmap on how to get there. Without a financial plan, you may find that you struggle to save enough money for important expenses, such as a down payment on a house, or even the cost of your children's education. You may also miss out on opportunities to invest and safeguard your, fam your family's future through investment vehicles such as real estate. 
Additionally, lacking a financial plan will lead to poor money management and decision making. Not having a clear understanding of your income and expenses will more often than not lead you to overspend and accumulate debt. In general, it is important for you to develop a clear, long-term financial plan to help you manage your money effectively and specific goals and a strategy to achieve them. Without a plan, it's easy to get sidetracked and make impulsive decisions that can harm your financial health. So, take the time to sit down and map out your financial goals and list out the steps you need to take to achieve them. Third, we have peer pressure. It can be tempting to keep up with your friends, work colleagues, and even siblings. However, buying things you can't afford or investing in risky ventures just because others are doing it can be a recipe for financial disaster. The most obvious case would be spending more money than you need to in order to buy expensive clothes, cars, and other luxury items just to fit in with your peers. But there are much more serious, less talked about scenarios such as co-signing a loan or guaranteeing a debt which would end up making you financially responsible for somebody else's mistakes. One well-known example of following a wave blindly was the dot-com bubble of the late 1990s. During this time, many people were swept up in the excitement of the internet and the potential for making money through technology stocks. As a result, they invested heavily in these stocks without fully considering the risks. When the bubble eventually burst, many people lost significant amounts of money. And speaking of bubbles, ever heard of NFTs or non-fungible tokens? The market for NFTs is relatively new and unregulated, which means that even though there is a higher degree of risk involved in investing in NFTs compared to more established markets, the prospect of earning a higher return on an investment uh, seems simple enough to understand and can be incredibly tempting for beginner investors. And since the value of NFTs is highly speculative, not to mention they are the new cool thing, when they came out, a good number of people felt pressured to catch the wave and buy overvalued assets without really doing their research, which resulted in a lot of them losing their money. Bringing it closer home, your friends may be convincing you to invest in a risky venture such as a startup business, a new cryptocurrency, or a real estate project without fully understanding the potential risks involved. It is therefore important to carefully evaluate the potential risks and rewards when you are considering making an investment. If your friends are pressuring you to invest in a venture that they are involved in, you may be tempted to overlook the potential risks and follow their lead. But if you don't do your own research and evaluate the potential risks, you will be putting your money at risk without fully realizing it. Especially if the venture is risky and has little chance of success. Remember, it's your own financial well-being that matters, not what others think or do. Be mindful of this trap and don't let peer pressure lead you to making financial decisions you will regret. Fourth, we have lack of discipline. Now, I know that discipline may not be the most exciting topic to discuss, but when it comes to finances, it's one of the important things to learn as lack of discipline will lead to poor money management and decision making, which in turn will have serious consequences to securing your financial freedom. One common way that lack of discipline can lead to financial problems is through overspending. When you are not disciplined about sticking to a budget, it's easy to spend on things like eating out, shopping, or entertainment which can quickly add up and lead to debt and other financial problems. Another way that lack of discipline can be a money trap is through impulsive financial decisions. Without discipline, it's easy to make rash decisions about things like buying a car or 
taking out a loan without fully considering the long-term consequences, which can lead to financial mistakes that are difficult to undo. Finally, lack of discipline will also lead to lack of savings. When you are not disciplined about setting aside money for the future, it's easy to spend it all on short-term expenses and end up with little or nothing to show for all the money that you have earned. This can make it difficult to achieve your financial goals, such as buying a house or investing for financial independence. So what can you do to avoid uh, falling into this costly money trap? Well, first of all, it's important to set clear financial goals and create a plan to achieve them. This will help you stay focused and disciplined about managing your money. Next, it's important to create a budget and stick to it, which helps to keep track of your income and expenses, making you avoid overspending. You can also use tools like automatic savings plans to help you uh, save money on a regular basis without having to think about it. Finally, it's important to avoid making impulsive financial decisions. Take the time to carefully consider the consequences of any financial decision. And I repeat, don't be afraid to seek financial advice. The fees are an investment with a high ROI. The fifth point is lack of focus. As you move through your career and take on more responsibility, it is easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle of daily life. You may have multiple tasks to complete, meetings to attend, deadlines to meet, but it is important to stay focused and avoid getting sidetracked by distractions when it comes to your finances. One of the biggest dangers of lack of focus is that it leads to costly mistakes. For example, if you are not paying attention to your budget and lack clear financial goals, you will most likely end up overspending and racking up unnecessary debt. Lack of focus can also lead you to remaining a perpetual salary slave. If you're not focused on your financial independence plan, you may not be keeping track of your investments. This can make it difficult for you to know if you're on track or whether you need to course correct. And this can lead you to never becoming financially independent. This can be particularly damaging later on in life when you have less time to accumulate wealth. Moreover, lacking focus also leads to missed opportunities for your career and business growth. If you're not paying attention to new trends in your industry or networking opportunities, you may miss out on potential promotions or business deals. With so many competing priorities and distractions in our lives, it's easy to lose sight of our long-term financial goals. To avoid this trap, make sure you regularly review your financial plan and stay focused on the steps you need to take to achieve your goals. Remember, it's important to stay focused and avoid getting sidetracked by short-term temptations. Another money trap is procrastination. Many people find dealing with their finances to be tedious and overwhelming. They may not enjoy taking, uh, tracking their expenses or creating a budget and put off these tasks because they find them boring or difficult. People who also procrastinate on dealing with their finances may tend to do so because they are afraid of what they might find. They may be scared to face the reality of their debt or their lack of assets and put off dealing with these issues because they do not want to deal with the consequences. If you find yourself battling with procrastination, here are a few tips to help you get, uh, get on the right path. Number one, set specific goals and deadlines for your tasks and make a plan to achieve them. This can give you something to work towards and provide a sense of accomplishment when you achieve your, 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 when you achieve your goals. Number two, set aside specific times for dealing with your finances. For example, you could schedule a regular time each week to track your spending, review your budget, and reassess your financial situation. Number three, hold yourself accountable. 
by telling somebody about your goals and ask them to check in with you to see how you are doing. You could seek support from a financial coach or counselor to help you with this as they are in a better position to give you actionable guidelines and advice that's specifically tailored to helping you face your financial issues. Number four, do not be afraid to reward yourself when you hit your goals. This will keep your goals in perspective and avoid becoming too focused on sacrifices you're, you're making to achieve them. For example, if you're trying to save money by cutting back on unnecessary expenses, rewarding yourself with something that you, can, you enjoy can remind you that the sacrifices are worth it in the long run. Be very careful not to overdo this though. You do not want to be in the same place or even worse, worse off than you were before you started. So here are a few takeaways to keep in mind. Educate yourself and learn as much about financial management as you can. If in doubt, consult a, fin a personal finance professional. Make a financial plan and stick to it. Do not be misled by peers who may be uninformed or by financial product providers who may not be objective. By staying focused and overcoming procrastination, you can avoid making costly mistakes and missing out on opportunities. Set specific goals and deadlines for dealing with your finances and set aside time to regularly check on them. Reward yourself for reaching your financial goals to keep you motivated and to keep you on track. Remember, it's never too late to start taking control of your finances and working towards your goal. By avoiding these common pitfalls, you can drastically improve your financial situation and be on the right track to achieve your financial goals. So if you're ready to finally take control of your finances and achieve financial independence, sign up for my free Financial Freedom Masterclass today by clicking on the, on the link in the description below. You'll get instant access to valuable insights and strategies, as well as have the chance to chat with me one-on-one -on -one to discuss your financial goals and how I can help you reach them. Don't let your financial future be left to chance. Start transforming your financial situation today and secure a bright future for yourself and your loved ones by signing up and starting your journey towards financial independence today. If you found this information helpful, uh, be sure to like the video, comment, and subscribe for more personal financial advice. Till next time, stay well and remember that you too can become financially independent.